I'm going to teach you how to turn your squat rack into a functional trainer. All you need are strength bands, some attachments like handles, and some big carabiners. One word of caution before I get started, you need to make sure that your rack is secured to the ground, either with bolting it to the ground or by having enough weight on the plate post that the rack won't flip over as you're doing these exercises, especially if you're doing any exercise where you're pulling from high to low. The first thing I need to show you is how to loop the band on itself. So you'll wrap the band around the post and then you're gonna go from the outside in. And this holds the band in place so it won't really slide up or down. You'll need to be able to do the same thing on the pull-up bars. So you'll wrap the band around, go from the outside in. I had the PowerTech Streamline Functional Trainer and I like the machine enough to try to replicate its function with the power rack using a variety of strength bands. All of these bands came from Elite FTS and if you want to know the resistance of the bands, just check out their website. Each band has a different resistance. The thicker the band, the more difficult it becomes. Also, a carabiner, kind of a standard carabiner, is too small to get on and off the bands easily, and you're likely to nick your band using a carabiner this size. So I would recommend using one of these bigger carabiners. They go on and off the bands extremely easy. I'm going to start with some chest exercises, and by no means is this list of exercises exhausted. So I'm gonna connect to the green on both sides. And step out into a chest press. If I want to make the exercise harder, I'll get further away from my anchor points. If I want to make the exercise easier, I'll get closer to my anchor points. If I want to do a drop set after reaching familiar with the green bands, I can disconnect from the green bands, connect into the red bands, and now I have a drop set. I can also add a fly into the movement. And I can also do a one hand press. I can do some additional fly movements by changing the position of the band on the rack. Here, I've lowered the red bands down to the bottom. I'm clipping in. And now I can do a low to high fly. I can also do a high to low fly. And I can also do some flies on the transverse plane. Seated chest press. Incline chest press, see the fly, and some exercises for shoulders, reverse fly, and with the reverse fly, you can go low, medium, and high, kind of like with the TRX when you do your Y's and T's. You can also do pulls. For rear delt, upper back. I've connected to my lower band pegs. Most racks have band pegs now. And you can do overhead presses inside of a rack, seated or standing. Lateral raises. And now for some back exercises. This is a Jeff Nippert favorite for muscle activation. A laying pullover. With some exercises, you won't be able to do the loop trick that I showed at the beginning. Here, I just have the band draped over, and I'm connected through both ends with the carabiner, doing a pullover with a back bar. Dual action pull down with a variety of different grips. Neutral, pronated, and supinated. I can do this standing also. Or I can do one arm at a time. Here's a 
standing row. Don't feel limited to just using handles. You can use any attachment. Here I've got a seated pull down. I got tired of doing all the exercises, so I hired some help. We're gonna go through a series of tricep exercises, starting with the tricep push down using a rope. A straight bar could also be used. Overhead tricep extension using a rope. A bar could also be used. A tricep kickback. A bicep curl using a bat bar. You could use a straight bar. Side one-armed curl. Bicep curls with a bit of a stretch. Next for legs, the banded belt squat. I have a band connected to each of my band pegs. I have a cinder block and then the stall mat's cut so it's a little more comfortable of a platform to stand on. I've got the spud ink belt and a carabiner in the middle of the bands. You could always add more bands to this. I've had 10 bands with this setup before. Here's the banded belt squat in action. You can also do plyo jumps while attached to the band with the belt squat. Now for a standing single leg curl. I have some stall mats stacked just so my foot doesn't hit the ground as I do this movement. Some grizzly ankle straps are in place. And if I wanted to superset this movement, step down. Switch sides, get some tension on the band, knee up, and extend out. Four leg extension. And you can also do a glute bridge by strapping the bands into the band pegs. If you need to make the exercise harder, just add a thicker band or more bands. By no means have I exhausted the list of exercises that you can do with strength bands and a rack. But I've just scratched the surface and hopefully you'll be able to come up with plenty of exercises on your own. If you found anything in this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks everybody.